Since the park opened in 1983, it's become a major leisure and sporting center. The facilities on the main lake attract a wide range of ages and abilities. From would-be experts to beginners. And if that doesn't appeal, there are gentler pursuits too. A healthy stock of fish in the smaller Nethermore Lake makes it popular with anglers. For sailors who prefer to stay on dry land, there's another area dedicated to model boat racing. And away from the water, the park is one of only a few centers for grass skiing. Some of the sport's top competitors regularly train here. At the heart of the park lies Bedgreave Mill, a complex of listed buildings, some of which date back to the early 17th century. These were in a rundown state when the mining operation began. Now, most have been carefully restored. This grain mill, probably built in the second half of the 18th century, is now back in working order. It's here that information is available on the park's facilities, together with its program of guided walks, talks and events. The courtyard's also the place for rest and refreshment. There's a craft centre here. Inside, artists can be seen working and original handmade goods are on sale. For many of the 800,000 people who visit here each year, though, the attraction is simple. Open space and tranquility. As the park continues to develop, its link with coal remains. To the north lies Pithouse West Open Cast Mine. Once the scene of the former Brookhouse Colliery, the site contained huge areas of derelict spoil heaps. As the work here continues, so too does the drive towards progressive restoration for the future. Even as an industrial operation on this scale is underway, environmental issues remain a priority. The green areas visible here represent an oasis where plant life is being preserved amid the mining operation. In time, this site will become part of the park, adding an extra 300 acres. In keeping with the livestock already established on the Rother Valley site, there's to be a model farm specializing in rare breeds. Once the coal has been removed, this industrial landscape will be transformed as dramatically as the existing Rother Valley Country Park. Proof that the demand for energy can coexist with the needs of the environment. <laughs>